parents and learners. It's me again, Teacher Mitch. Welcome back to another video lesson in Mathematics 6. This lesson is for week 1 of the third quarter, which is about solid figures. Visualizing and describing the different solid figures. Map base. Learning goal. Visualizes and describes the different solid figures. Cube, prism, pyramid, cylinder, cone, and sphere using various concrete and pictorial models. What are solid figures? Solid figures are figures that have three dimensions or 3D, such as length, width, and height. It is enclosed by plane figures or curved surfaces. Kapag sinabing solid figures, tinatawag din itong three-dimensional figures or 3D. Dahil ito ay may tatlong dimensions, which are the length or haba, width or lapad, and height, taas. Ang solid figures ay may dalawang uri ng faces or surfaces. Ito ay ang plain or flat surfaces and curved surfaces. In this example, ang tawag sa figure na ito ay rectangular prism. Ang length ay kung gaano kahaba ang figure. Ang width ay kung gaano kalapad. At ang height ay kung gaano kataas ang rectangular prism. Sa given example of solid figures, ang first three figures ay enclosed by plane figures or flat faces. Ang sumunod na three figures naman ay enclosed by curved faces. Parts of a solid figures Number 1. Faces Faces are the flat surfaces of a figure. Kapag sinabing faces, ito yung surface or cover ng solid figures. Gamitin nating example muli ang rectangular prism. What are the faces of a rectangular prism? We have the top, bottom, front, back, side 1, and side 2. A total of 6 faces. Number 2, edges. Edges are the line segment where two faces meet or intersect. Ang edges naman ay ang mga line segment o guhit kung saan nag-meet ang dalawang faces. Let's count the number of edges of a rectangular prism. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So we have 12 edges in a rectangular prism. Number 3. Vertices. Vertices are the point of intersection of three or more edges. Ang vertex or vertices kapag plural ay ang point or corner kung saan ang three or more edges ay nag-intersect o nagtagpo. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So we have 8 vertices in a rectangular prism. Number 4. Bases are the top or the bottom part of the figure. Ang base ay ang mga faces na nasa ibabaw at ilalim ng figure. So we have the base 1 yung nasa ilalim and base 2 yung nasa ibabaw. 
So we have two bases in a rectangular prism. Number five, lateral faces. Lateral faces are the flat faces in a prism or pyramid that are not bases. Ang lateral faces ay ang mga faces na nakapalikid sa prism or pyramid. So we have the front, back, side 1, and side 2. So we have four lateral faces in a rectangular prism. Nets of solid figures. Net is a closed plane figure that can be folded into a closed three-dimensional figure. It is a pattern you can use to form solid figures. Ang net ng solid figure ay ang diagram na ikinuhit sa papel or ipinrin galing sa internet. Kapag ito ay ginupit at itinupi ayon sa mga linya, makakabuo tayo ng solid figure. For example, the following diagram shows net of a cube, rectangular prism, triangular prism, square pyramid, Hexagonal prism, cone, cylinder, and sphere. Two types of solid figures. Number one, polyhedron. Number two, non-polyhedron. What is polyhedron? It has flat surfaces. Example, cube, prism or cuboid and pyramid. What is non-polyhedron? It has curved surfaces. Example, we have cone, cylinder, and sphere. Number one, cube. Cube is a solid figure with six congruent square faces. It has six faces, 12 edges and 8 vertices. Ang cube ay kabilang sa polyhedron. Kapag sinabing congruent square, pareho ang size at shape ng mga square. This is a figure of a cube. We have the face, the edge, and the vertex. And this is the net of a cube. These are the examples of a cube. We have the Rubik's Cube, Ice Cube, Gift Box, and Dice. Number two, prisms. Prisms are solid figures that have parallel faces that have the same shape. These faces of each sides are parallelograms. Kapag sinabing parallel faces or parallelogram, ito yung magkatapat na dalawang base at dalawang lateral faces na magkapareho ng size at shape. This is the figure of a rectangular prism. We have face, we have the edge, and we have the vertex. And this is the net of a rectangular prism. What are the examples of a prisms? We have refrigerator, cereal box, match box, and show box. Kinds of prism. A prism is named according to the shape of its base. A cube is also a prism. Ang pangalan o uri ng prism ay nakadepende sa shape ng base nito. Examples Triangular prism Rectangular prism Pentagonal prism Hexagonal prism And octagonal prism Number 3. Pyramid Pyramid is a solid figure made up of base and triangular faces. These faces meet at a common topmost point called the vertex. 
The vertex is also called the apex of the pyramid. The edges that meet at the vertex are called lateral edges. Sa pyramid, ang tatandaan natin dito ay meron siyang isang base at ang mga lateral face niya ay triangle. Ang tuktok o itaas ng pyramid ay tinatawag na apex. Ang apex ay kabilang sa number of vertices ng pyramid. This is the figure of a square pyramid. We have the apex, the edge, the lateral face, and the base. And this is the net of a square pyramid. These are examples of pyramid. Egyptian's pyramid and tent. Kinds of pyramid. A pyramid is named according to the shape of its base. Tulad sa prism, ang pangalan o uri ng pyramid ay nakadepende sa shape ng base nito. Examples, rectangular pyramid, hexagonal pyramid, heptagonal pyramid, and decagonal pyramid. Number 4, Cylinder Cylinder is a solid figure that has two circular bases and curved lateral face. Ang cylinder ay kabilang sa non-polyhedron dahil ito ay may curved lateral face. At madali itong tandaan dahil ito ay may dalawang circular base. This is the figure of a cylinder. We have the curved surface, circular base at the top, and another circular base at the bottom. And this is the net of a cylinder. These are examples of a cylinder. Soda can, cake, drum, and milk can. Number five, cone. Cone is a solid figure that has a circular flat base and a curved face pointed towards the top. The pointed top end of the cone is called the apex. Ang cone ay kabilang sa non-polyhedron dahil ito ay may curved face. Meron din itong flat circular base at tulad sa pyramid, ito rin ay may apex or topmost point. This is the figure of a cone. We have the apex, curved surface, and one circular base. And this is the net of a cone. These are examples of a cone. Traffic cone, ice cream cone, party hat, and funnel. Number six, sphere. A sphere is a solid figure in which all points are of equal distance from a point called its center. And these points form a curved surface as well. It has no edges or vertices or corners. Ang sphere ay kabilang sa non-polyhedron dahil ito ay may curved surface. At sa lahat ng solid figures, ang spheres lang ang walang edge at vertex. This is the figure of a sphere. We have the center and curved surface. This is the net of a sphere. And these are examples of a sphere. We have globe, soccer ball, marbles, and orange. Complete the table. Sa first column, we have the shape. Second column, name of solid figures. Third column, number of faces. Fourth column, number of edges. Fifth column, number of vertices. Number one, name of solid figures. Cube. Number of faces. Six. Number of edges. Twelve. Number of vertices. Eight. Number 2. Name of solid figures. Cone. Number of faces. 2. 
Number of ages, one. Number of vertices, one. Number three, name of solid figures, rectangular prism. Number of faces, six. Number of ages, 12. Number of vertices, eight. Number four, name of solid figures, cylinder. Number of faces, three. Number of ages, two. Number of vertices, zero. Number five, name of solid figures, square pyramid. Number of faces, five. Number of ages, eight. Number of vertices, five. And the last one, name of solid figures, sphere. Number of faces, one. Number of ages, zero. Number of vertices, zero.